Hey there, Nate here again. Today we're going to be discussing ISO and how it works. So, um, ISO is essentially the same thing uh, if you shot film as ASA um, or film speed. Um, it just uh, is, ISO is the sensor's relative sensitivity to light. Um, so, as you go from ISO 100 on up the scale, your sensor gets more and more sensitive to light. Um, ISO doesn't mean anything. Um, it just stands for International Standardization Organization, um, which is the group that pretty much standardizes everything. Um, and uh, that's just what it's named for. However, um, that being said, ISO on my, uh, on my D90, uh, say like ISO 400 on my D90, might not be exactly the same as ISO 400 uh, on my D40X. And reason being is because when you have more megapixels in your camera, um, each megapixel is smaller, therefore less sensitive to light. This camera has 12.3, this one has 10.2. So it's almost um, a whole two megapixels of difference uh, between these two cameras. So um, with uh, ISO 400 on this, you'll have a little bit more noise, per se, than ISO 400 on this. And I'm going to explain to you right now what noise is, because it is, um, it is the Achilles heel, let's say, of a uh, higher ISO. So I'm sure most of you uh, have heard the term noise, um, even if you don't know what it is. What noise essentially is, is that when you set a higher ISO rating, uh, the camera's computer actually has to amplify each and every pixel. Um, to make your picture brighter, your sensor does rather. Uh, and when that happens, um, your camera will pick up what are called photons, uh, stray photons of light, um, which will uh, then kind of disturb your image quality. Um, that's not a very good explanation of it, I guess, but essentially all it is is stray bits of light that shouldn't be showing up, um, showing up because your sensor is much more sensitive to the light coming in. And that is what noise is. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a picture um, at each ISO um, on my camera so you can see how noise increases. So then, as you can see in that picture, um, there are all those little speckles. As the ISO gradually increased, uh, those little speckles all got worse. And those speckles you were seeing was the noise. Um, most uh, SLR cameras, the, the more expensive ones, have a function called noise reduction, um, which is something you can set to different levels. Uh, and it'll actually, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't eliminate the noise, but what it does is it applies um, what's called a Gaussian blur, which means it just smooths the image over. You lose a little sharpness uh, when that happens, but um, you don't get all the nasty noise, um, all those little speckles. It just kind of blends them in. Um, and I had it turned off on my D90. I can do it. Uh, what I'll do right now then um, is I'll take a picture at 3200 ISO, which is where I take most of my low light stuff. I'll take it with the noise reduction on and with the noise reduction off, same subject so you can see the difference between the two of those. So go ahead and check that out. So one of the things that most uh, influences the amount of noise you'll get in your pictures is actually the sensor itself. Um, some sensors are more susceptible um, to noise than others. Um, like I mentioned before, a camera that has less um, megapixels will typically have better 
um, control of noise. However, the less megapixels the camera has, chances are it's a cheaper camera and therefore won't have the noise reduction. So it's kind of a, a double-edged sword there. Um, the only exception to this rule really is um, an FX camera, like the D3 or the D700 or D3X. Um, those have almost the same amount of megapixels. Uh, well, not the D3X, obviously, that has like 24. Um, but it has this, uh, roughly the same number of megapixels as my D90 does. But, since it's an FX sensor, it's a lot bigger sensor. So the pixels are a lot larger, and you get a lot better um, noise performance um, with a camera like that. In fact, the noise performance is so, uh, so good on that lens, or I'm um, sorry, not on that lens, but on that camera, rather, um, that the uh, D3 can uh, step its ISO all the way up to 25,600, which at that point it looks pretty bad, but still, the fact that it can do that is really something, uh, something to mention, I think. So when you set your ISO up real high like that, your camera has to amplify the signal coming in, which means that it picks up stray photons of light a lot easier. And this is what we see is noise, is um, your camera being oversensitive and picking up little bits of light that it shouldn't be picking up. Um, and as I said earlier, some sensors um, are better at avoiding this than others. Uh, like I said, FX sensors are the best um, because the sensors are bigger and the pixels are bigger meaning they can absorb more light before they have to amplify the signal up uh, to a certain ISO. So if you need a, a really good low light camera and you can afford one, uh, get an FX camera. Um, my next camera is going to be um, the D700 or whatever is out by then. Um, I, I'll never be able to afford a D3 or anything like that. Um, but definitely my next camera is going to be F, um, FX because I need the low light um, capabilities that an FX sensor can provide. Okay, so really that's all I have to say um, about the way ISO works. Um, if something is a little unclear, let me know. I'll help you out. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, my name is Nate, and I hope you've enjoyed this explanation of ISO.